a very good very good morning my name is Alok Shivastava and I welcome you once again to Network Nuts YouTube channel so first of all as the background says I wish you a very very happy new year 2010 was good and I wish that 2011 will be much better to you as the background says it's the celebration time and we all welcome 2011 with great energy so what's in this video in this video I am going to show you a very small and a beautiful tool named as multi extreme it is actually used or can be used to execute commands simultaneously on multiple servers let me explain you I had a very beautiful diagram made for you and in that diagram you you can also see my picture ha 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 this is not me actually fine let's suppose this is me as the administrator though the it doesn't resembles me at all I have a very good hairs on my head <laughs> so fine uh, the, this is me as an administrator and I had to execute a couple of commands identical commands on multiple machines like suppose I had to configure uh, the DNS uh, on this machine um, means it should be configured as a DNS client this m this machine should also be configured as the DNS client and the same or might be you need to do some identical jobs or had to execute some identical commands on all the machines so what traditionally we used to do I used to SSH on this machine give the password gig, then give the command exit come back again SSH on this machine give the password come back or uh, you can have the key uh, generations for the SSH to reduce uh, the keystroke so that you won't be uh, means uh, like uh, called to give the password but still you need to execute the commands so these are three servers suppose it's a 30 server or a 13 server so I'm actually doing repetitive jobs on all the machines every time now it can be a pain in the neck or you need to have a very large cup of coffee before doing your job that is why I'm not happy I'm very angry because I need to do multi the same set of commands or, ex or execute the same set of commands on all the machine what's the solution the solution is multi extrem let me show you how to do this again same I have this virtual machine here for you so the first thing that you need to do is that you need to install the packages you need to do yum install expect and expect k because I had already installed the packages but I'm showing you so these packages are already installed so in your machine you need to do you need to first install these packages as soon as you install these packages you have this multi extrem available here sorry that's great now here I have two machines one is 172.24.0.250 and the other is 172.24.0. say I suppose it is 143 let me check uh, whether I'm able to hit the 143 or not because I'm sure that 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 machine is live yeah good let me do it I do a SSH uh, first I'll try to do a SSH whether I'm able to do SSH on 172.24.0.143 I does the SSH I give the password that's great so I can ex execute the command here but the thing is that I, d I don't want to do SSH multiple times I want to use multi extrem so whatever command I execute once here will automatically be pushed onto all those servers those are called by multi extrem let me show you so first thing first as I told you you need to install the packages after installing the packages expect and expect K I can give the command that is fairly simple you give multi extrem hyphen XE Ex XE stands for execute the command and then the command that you wish to do I give a root at the rate percentage n and then you can specify the IP addresses that you wish to control simultaneously in my case it is 172.24.0.250 and 172.24.0.143 so these are the two machines I want to 
manage or uh, or I want some commands to be executed simultaneously on these two machines. Let me fix it for you. Uh, yeah, that's better. So I give multi x term execute the command, then the command name ssh root at the rate percentage n. Now these respective IPs will automatically get replaced by this percentage n. So just press enter here. Vroom vroom. You you've got two machines called up here. Obviously you need to give the password. If you have got the SSH key gen here for you, then the password will not be called for. That's great. So what next? Let me check it once again. I'll show you once again. I do exit here. I execute. I just give this multi extrem hyphen xc. It is 143, I suppose. Yeah. Let me check. Yeah, 143. So I give a multi x term hyphen xc. Execute the command ssh, and then the IPs. You can you 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 can then give a space and uh, and write n number of I, of IPs here. Press enter here. Tuck tuck. You can see there both the machines come up. Obviously, you need to give the authentication. So I give the password for the one 143, and I need to give the password for 250. If you have got the ssh key gen uh, or the key shared, then this particular step can be escaped or can be skipped. Now, what to do? How will I give the command? I'll show you. You have this STDN window. You click here and write whatever you wish to write. You, if you see here, the command is being repeated on both the terminals or both the machines. I just give a simple command root. I'm just creating a directory here. Alloc magic. Wow. Then I go to cd etc yum dot repos dead dot d I I can create I can give a ll here I do a sir dot repo and then I can do some editing here also whatever you wish to give I give vt paste URL is equal to say I give a here as FTP slash slash 172.24.0.250 slash pub slash rel54 or whatever this gpg check is equal to zero and you save and come out that's good when you are done just do a exit here so means if i am not wrong then first i had created a folder in the root that was uh, alok magic so that is here you can see there alok magic is here on the one for on 250 as well as alok magic is here on the 143 and so that command got executed on both the machines that was great so you can keep on uh, like doing your kind of stuff or what kind of administration you want to do just click on the stdn window and type the command that command will automatically get executed on all the machines that you had called to do a recheck I'll just come out from here. I'll manually do a SSH from this machine. I do a SSH hyphen Y one seventy two. Sorry, I had to give root at the rate one seventy two dot twenty four dot zero dot two fifty. That's great. Let me wait. That's good. So if if I do LL here, you you can see the alloc magic comes here. That's great. And if I do a etc yum dot repos dot d. If I give you a cat of sir dot repo, my changes had been updated here. That's good. Now what about 143? Let me exit from here. Now I SSH onto 143 manually. I need to specify the password. I specified the password here. The same directory is available here. That is a real magic. I can tell you this. And let me check it here, sir or whatever, that this file is created and the entries are updated here so that really re reduces the um, the job of the administrator or in case the admin want to use uh, or to execute uh, the similar commands on multiple machines use extrem i hope you like this video and now i can change my face to smiley ha 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 let me change now i am a smiley guy I am not. Oh, 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 oh! Now I am smiley. I can remove this. I don't. Let me try. Tick, 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 tick. I don't know how to remove this. So let. 
you better leave it here i hope you like this video and you like the extra thing and whenever you are done just do a f file exit that's great job is done so I hope you like this video so this is a very beautiful tool for you to make your life easy happy in this new year so you can spend more time with your girlfriend or your boyfriend thank you very much I hope you like this video see you again soon bye